Hey, what's up guys? Let me ask you a question. Do you have a muscle car, uh, whether it's stock or just fairly mild? Uh, I have a few tips, free little tricks that you can do that if you plan on racing at the drag strip, uh, it'll get you a little bit better ETs. They're all fairly simple, just amateurs could do it. So uh, let me just go over them with you real quick. All right, the first little tip I have is a very simple one is tire pressure. Uh, I usually like to run as high a pressure as I can on the tire safely at the track. I usually run 45 PSI in the front and I like to run 40 in the rear as long as you're still getting traction. Uh, tires roll easier if they're inflated to like a high pressure. So the higher you can run, the easier the car is going to roll down the track. Uh, if you're running just regular radial tires like these BF Goodrich radial TAs, they actually tend to get a little bit better traction with a little bit higher. If you run them real underinflated like a slick, they tend to actually spin more. So that's just a quick little uh, tip that you could do. Just help you get off the line a little easier and uh, get down the track a little quicker. All right, the second one is going to be the air cleaner. If you're running just like a stock style air cleaner like this, and it's a paper filter in there, or even if it is a K&N, I recommend removing it. Uh, you'd be surprised how restrictive those OE air cleaners are. And I've actually proven it myself with this car at the track. So definitely get rid of the air cleaner once you get there. You don't want to drive around on the street like that. But And the same with the tire pressure. I just recommend running 35 all the way around on the street. But at the track, you can bump it up and then just let it down for when you go to leave. All right, the next tip is a really obvious one that can get overlooked. And it's your, actually your throttle linkage adjustment or your throttle cable. Uh, a lot of times you're not getting wide open throttle. Uh, you definitely want to have somebody sit in the car, press their foot all the way to the floor on the throttle and look down in the primaries if it's a uh, just a vacuum secondary carburetor or in all four if it's a double pumper and make sure that thing is actually going to wide open throttle because you'd be surprised you just hook it up with like a different intake manifold and a different carburetor that comes on factory that OE throttle cable usually isn't quite right the length of it for that setup so you will probably have to make an adjustment and that can get overlooked all right the next little tip that I have also deals with throttle now this is a vacuum secondary 600 uh, it's kind of a little undersized for a 340. Uh, I do have the very lightest spring in the secondaries, which is the short yellow. But even according to Holly's chart, the secondaries on a 350 cubic inch engine with the short yellow spring, them secondaries do not fully open until 5,650 RPM, which if you're only shifting it at like 6,000 RPMs, that doesn't give you very many RPMs of what actual all four barrels being open. So what I do at the track, and I know people will tell you not to do this, but I put a screw right there for the secondaries and make sure they actually come wide open when you hit the throttle wide open. Uh, it tends to have maybe just a little tiny bit of a softer start off the line, a little tiny bit of a bog, but uh, it's not real terrible. Uh, it just, you're going to get wide open the whole way down the track. And on this car, it definitely helped. All right, and then the last tip is the choke. Even when this thing is open, it's still creating turbulence and a restriction in, for your primaries. Uh, I just usually like to take and uh, remove it when I'm at the track. You can just tap on this thing a little bit. It spreads. The, there's the shaft has like a slit in it. And this is just kind of pushed down in there. You can just go ahead and grab a pair of pliers and pull it out. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this choke out and just show you how easy it actually is. Okay. Plate is out. And you just slide the shaft out the side. And there it is. It's completely wide open, unrestricted. 
and you can put it back in for your ride home. So that's just a simple one that anybody could do just right there at the track with a pair of pliers and maybe a flathead screwdriver. All right, now that I went over them tips, I just wanted to show you what type of results I saw when I did these. Uh, this was two different times down to the track and right off the bat, the car ran with the air cleaner on just fresh off the street, a 14.17. I took the air cleaner off, it went a 14.11. So that picked up. And I removed the choke plate, that was the next thing I did. 14.02. So just by doing those two simple things, the car almost went two tenths quicker. The next down, time down to the track, I played around with the springs and the secondaries. I tried the short yellow one. The car was going 14.0. Took the air cleaner off. The car went a 13.9. Put the screw in for the secondaries. It went a 13.7. And I backed it up with a cool down and it ran a 13.61 at 100. So it actually picked up like everything I did. So just goes to show you those basically free, easy little tricks that you can do will actually help your stock car. Now this isn't gonna apply to everybody or every car. So, but they're worth giving a try if you're at the track and you just wanna pick up a couple extra tents or go a little faster. I mean, they're simple enough. If they don't work for you, just put the car back to the way it was. Just go one step at a time. So that's going to about do it for today. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.